Hi everybody, this is Julian from RC. I hope this video looks okay because I'm recording it on a Windows machine. Yes, you heard that right, and no, haven't gone crazy. The reason why I'm using Windows today is because I want to demonstrate how you can run local inference on a Windows machine powered by an Intel Lunar Lake CPU. And Lunar Lake is particularly interesting because it gives us the option to run on CPU, on an Intel GPU, and on an Intel NPU. So I'm going to use OpenVINO to optimize a small language model, and we're going to run inference on those three hardware platforms. This should be interesting. Let's go. Before we dive into the demo, just a few words about the dev environment. So this machine runs Windows 11. Uh, and I'm assuming you have a working Python environment. I'm not going to show you how to set that up. Uh, there are lots of good resources out there. So you could use PowerShell, you can use uh, Miniconda, etc. Um, does not really matter. I also try to use the Windows subsystem for Linux uh, and Docker, etc. Um, and that would have given me, you know, Ubuntu and tools that I'm generally more familiar with but I couldn't get access to the GPU or the NPU in uh, WSL or in Docker. Um, spent a fair amount of time trying, uh, followed all the tutorials, but I couldn't get it to work. So either I'm an idiot, which is a very strong possibility, or this particular GPU is not supported by, uh, by WSL and, um, or, and or Docker. So if you know how to get this right, uh, leave a comment. I'll be happy to learn. But I couldn't get it to work. So uh, I'm going to use um, the CPU, GPU, and NPU natively. Um, and as you will see, this is, uh, this is pretty efficient. OK, let's talk about OpenVINO now. So OpenVINO is an Intel toolkit that helps you optimize deep learning models across Intel platforms. Um, the documentation is actually pretty good, but it's covering a lot of different things, you know, from computer vision models to Gen AI models, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, starting from your working Python environment, um, the the most useful page for what we're going to do today is this one. Okay, and I'll put all the links in the video description. So, exporting models using script. So what we're going to do here, and that's going to be the first step, we're going to grab a model from Hugging Face. I'm going to use uh, Supernova Lite, our own uh, Llama 3.1 8 billion parameter model. And we're going to export it to the OpenVINO format. And then once we've done that, we'll be able to run inference across different platforms. So we'll run um, local inference in a Python script. And I'll also show you how we can use the OpenVINO model server, OVMS, for uh, proper uh, serving through um, HTTP APIs. Okay, let's go. In the repository, you'll find a small guide that I wrote to walk you through the steps from uh, model export to inferencing with uh, OVMS. Okay, so let's look at model export. Um, of course, this is where we grab our model from Hugging Face and we optimize it for a particular device, which can be GPU, CPU, NPU, okay? Assigning a certain quantization format, so either int8 or int4, okay? Both work for GPU and CPU, and for NPU, we should really use int4, okay? And that's about it. The rest is just uh, where do we save the model? Uh, where do we save the config file for model serving? So nothing really, uh, nothing really crazy here. Okay, so let's run one example. So here I'm going to run the NPU export just for you to see how that works. Okay, so I already downloaded the model from Hugging Face. So it's in my cache. If you run this for the first time, you'll see the the model download happening and then OpenVINO is going to load the model as we see here and optimize it for this particular configuration. This should only take a minute or two so let's just wait for a second and uh, we'll see the results. Okay so we see OpenVINO optimizing the model. Uh, we see that uh, 
most parameters are going to be quantized to four bits and uh, and a few are going to stay in eight bit precision and as you can see this is a this is a fast process and when it's and once it's done we'll get the saved model uh, locally and the config file to serve it with uh, the model server okay let's just give it a few more seconds okay so now we have the model and we have the config file so the process is exactly the same for the other platforms so there's nothing really complicated here uh, there are some you know more hardcore quantization settings if you want to <laughs> if you want to look at that uh, and I would refer you to uh, to the open Vino documentation but for our purpose this is more than enough okay all right so now that we have quantized all those models uh, we can run inference uh, using a small script that I uh, that I wrote as well openvino example.py uh, we just need to mention uh, the the device the precision and a prompt okay okay so here we see the the performance for uh, the CPU doing a little bit because I'm recording with uh, OBS right here uh, the NPU is doing nothing and the GPU is just managing video I guess so let's try maybe CPU first Okay, CPU, four bits, explain quantum computing. So here we're doing local inference, we're not doing model serving. So we're just loading the model and, uh, and predicting with the pipeline, okay? So we can see the CPU is, you know, a little bit busy and the speed is not too bad. So it's probably a bit too slow for conversational usage but it's not ridiculous, right? We could we could use this. So let's see how many words per second we're getting here. All right, so we got 4.5 words per second. So for English, tokens are about 30% more than the words. So let's say, uh, okay, six tokens per second. Like I said, a little bit on the low end, um, but not ridiculous and you know usable for you know short prompts and small applications. Okay, so we could um, we could do eight bit. It would be a bit slower. Uh, you'll find the numbers in the doc. Uh, why don't we try four bit with the GPU this time? Okay, so write a creative story. Okay, let's see the GPU getting busy now. So we see the GPU is pretty busy um, as we can see here, it's an Intel Arc uh, 140V with 16 gigs. So 16 gigs is definitely enough for, uh, for this model in 4 bits. Um, it also works in 8 bits with uh, room to spare. Um, so yeah, I don't think GPU memory size is going to be an issue here. We wouldn't be running very big models anyway. So let's see what kind of speed we get. So we get 9.4 words. So again, if we add 30%, that's probably 12, 12 tokens per second. Okay. Why not run 8 bit as well? Let's see if there's a big difference. It looks a little bit slower, but if you need you know, a little bit more quality, 8-bit um, could be an option. Uh, quantization will degrade the model uh, just a tiny bit. So 8-bit quantization should be almost invisible. Yeah, it's it's slower. It didn't feel that slow, but <laughs> or maybe that's just a bad run. But yeah, it is a bit slower. So about, yeah, seven, maybe seven tokens per second. So now let's try the NPU. And the NPU is a chip 
um, with dedicated hardware to accelerate deep learning operations. Um, let's just grab the, the prompt here. And here we go. So the first time you run this, um, it's going to be slow because there is an extra uh, compilation step on top of the OpenVINO compilation to uh, further optimize the, the model for the NPU. Uh, here I'm using a, the cache mechanism available in OpenVINO and you can look at my code to see how that works. It's just a, a parameter you have to set. And so, yes, the first run is slow, takes a few minutes. You'll see the CPU jumping to almost 100%, but then the NPU uh, compiled artifact is saved. And as you can see, it starts very quickly. So we can see the NPU going almost 100%. So uh, a very good hardware optimization here. Um, and the speed looks fairly nice. And the good thing is, uh, you know, we leave the GPU alone. So if you need the GPU for video processing or your other applications, or maybe you're running another model on the GPU, um, this is a really good option. And as you can see, we're getting, uh, let's say about eight tokens per second with this eight billion parameter model, which is, uh, which is pretty good performance. Um, so I think the, the combination here of, uh, you know, CPU, NPU, GPU, uh, is, is very interesting. You, you have flexibility to run different models potentially at the same time. Uh, and, and pick you know f the, the the sweet spot for each one of them. If you have a really tiny model, maybe it's worth running on the CPU, or if you have something that needs a little more speed, then the GPU works. And again, if you want to leave the CPU and GPU alone for your uh, other applications, then NP the NPU is dedicated for you, right? So that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And we can see the NPU has uh, uh, 16 gigs as well. Okay. So that's local inference. Okay. So now we could work um, if we wanted um, uh, to invoke our model through uh, HTTP and maybe uh, an OpenAI compatible API, uh, then uh, the OpenVINO model server is a good option. So I provided two different uh, possibilities here. Uh, you can work with an existing OpenVINO server. So if you have one running, you know, you could, uh, you could go and call it. And if you want to start one locally on the machine, you can do that too. Okay, so why don't we do that? So let's do, uh, yeah, maybe let's do NPU again. So let's just take this. Okay. And it's going to launch uh, OVMS, which I installed on my machine as well. And it's going to load the model. So, you know, it could take maybe 30 seconds or something. So no rush. And, and then we'll run inference through HTTP and uh, using the OpenAI client directly on OVMS. Okay, so we see that the model has been loaded. It's available. And now we can prompt it, and you recognize the uh, the OpenAI format. Okay, and then it's the same. So if you need, uh, you know, like I said, OpenAI compatibility, HTTP. Uh, if you need maybe to serve different apps, this this is a good option as well, right? And well, this one was a little faster, but I guess we just got lucky. Okay. So that's how you can do it. And of course, uh, you can launch, you know, if you want to launch your OVMS manually uh, and then run inference, uh, it's the same, right? Just don't say start server and, and it won't, okay? So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. I uh, Just for fun and for you uh, Windows fans out there, uh, I included some extra extra commands so if you want to use PowerShell to query the model, you can do that, right? Not a fan personally, but why not? Okay. 
um, the script options that we saw, the names of the models to use, some troubleshooting, and yes, the the performance here. So I, I just ran a few uh, a, a few examples, so you know, your mileage may vary a bit. Um, but generally what you'll see is uh, GPU uh, 4 bit is faster okay uh, you'll you'll see you know 10 words per second consistently. Uh, NPU uh, is a, is generally second and we saw this uh, this last run was actually 7.5 so that was a really good one. So uh, almost again 10 10 tokens per second again freeing the rest of the machine for other applications. And then GPU int 8 will be a bit slower. And then as you, as you would expect, CPU int 4 and CPU int 8. So bottom line, if you really want speed, uh, the GPU is the best place. But if you need the GPU for something else, uh, or if you want to run two models, maybe, um, the NPU is also uh, very, very interesting. OK. All right, um, that's uh, pretty much what I wanted to show you. So again, uh, you'll find everything in the repo. Um, this is the script. You can tailor it uh, to your own uh, liking, use your own model. But I think this is, uh, this is an easy way to experiment with small language models uh, and OpenVINO on any uh, AI PC. This would work. Uh, equally well on uh, on another generation okay well that's what i wanted to show you for today i hope this was useful i uh, hope you enjoy uh, looking at windows for a change although we really looked at cursor <laughs> it wasn't too different it wasn't too painful for me okay thanks a lot for watching uh i'll be back soon with more content until next time keep rocking